Hello, I'm making a garden video because it is very warm today and wonderful and I just cleaned up the entire garden. There is a dandelion growing. Believe it or not, a dandelion. I'm gonna pick that up and eat that. And that's the only dandelion flower that I see right now because it's supposed to be winter and they're not even supposed to be flowering so this is all very bizarre and it has to do with global warming caused by pollution co2 and methane and other gases that are trapping heat in our atmosphere and the heat cannot get out anymore so it's causing a global heating up of the atmosphere which causes the ice glaciers to melt at the poles, <coughs> which in turn causes dramatic weather patterns that haven't been seen before in this drastic, enormous catastrophe. And in regions where, it's, where there were no hurricanes, there are hurricanes now, and such dramatic storms that it blows roofs off and <clears throat> a lot of people who deny global warming they're gonna be very surprised what's gonna be coming to their roofs <laughs> and how the weather is gonna tear their roofs off and rain in and it's gonna be very 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 dramatic and Yes, every single person is responsible for this. You know, people don't seem to realize this. They seem to think that, oh, I'm just an ant or, you know, oh, I'm just the government and the government, the government. It's always the government, government's fault. No, ho, 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 ho. It is every one of your fault. Okay. It, every one of you is responsible for what's happening in our world that we live in yeah and that's a fact if you are ignorant and someone else is ignorant and another person is ignorant and another person is in denial and the denial just keeps going on then every single one of you who is in denial about it is responsible for what's going to happen to you to your own lives and this is a fact oh, sorry but you know this needs to sink in now it really should sink in now but yeah we'll try to make the best out of the situation it is it is january january has just started and it is so warm that i'm sitting here in my t-shirt and the days are still short and the weather is warm and sit here with my butt on the lawn I have winter boots on but and a hood but t-shirt because I was just working and so sitting here and I'm not even cold at all I feel very warm and it's very warm and cozy here in the garden and that's very very unusual all of this and it causes bark beetle infestations and in forests it causes unforeseen evolutionary shifts which of course people can't foresee you know when they are lighting up entire vegas and using enormous amounts of electricity they don't foresee any of this because because none of them thinks they are responsible you know oh i just want to have fun they say i just want to go on the roller coaster ride and just have fun i'm a simple man someone says to me i'm just a, he kept saying this like 10 times i'm just a simple man i hope i don't annoy you you know this being simple man does not annoy me at all all you know if, if you are kind-hearted and gorgeous i dig you yes but if the simple means you don't take any responsibility for anything yeah i do have problem with this i really do i think that's very lame and pathetic yeah? not to take any responsibility for anything yeah? 
and thinking that the government owes you something or that you're entitled to more money or that you that the rich people should make you make your life plush and nice and give everything up for you you know that's a that's a real problem you know that's that to me that's total unempowerment that's what Friedrich Nietzsche was talking about when he was talking about the last human the last human is the one who feels entitled and who is violent and who is violent towards animals and women and who feels like he's entitled to more money and and all of this um yeah that seems to be a lot of people a lot of men in particular it's a fact yeah let's not shy away from the facts if we want to fix something we have to look at the problems we can't ignore the problems we can't just look the other way you know there's a quote by albert einstein who said that i don't know I don't recall the exact wordings, but he said that if you see a crime happen right in front of your eyes and you decide deliberately to look the other way and walk away and not do anything to help the victim, you make yourself equally responsible for what's happening to that victim. This is the case with animal suffering in the world this is the case with people suffering this is the case with our forests being chopped off right in front of our eyes we need the forests we need these forests we need these trees okay every single tree every single branch every single leaf every single green stuff we need we need to breathe this in into our lungs so this this really should should become very crystal clear. No one talks about it. It's not popular, you know, it's not Vegas, it's not entertaining enough. But this here is what makes you have entertainment. Without this here, you wouldn't even be able to go to peep shows without this here. Because you wouldn't be able to breathe. If you can't breathe, you can't go to a peep show or to some silly Vegas show or whatever you can't be uh, I don't even <laughs> want to say it but you know what I mean you know uh, all that entertainment stuff and oh I'm a simple man they will say I just want my peep shows I just want my entertainment you couldn't do it without breathing the oxygen into your lungs that these trees here, these leaves, yeah, those are little leaves in there, the little green stuff. Huh? This that this here breathes out, it breathes out oxygen. It takes in what you breathe out. This is called a symbiosis. People don't become aware about this seem to be completely cut off from it this they, they think and then religion of course is propagated by the corporations for the reason because it has it doesn't have new scientific knowledge you know it is stuck at 1500 years back in time you know where they had no knowledge about anything they thought everything is endless <laughs> yeah yeah endlessness is when you go shoot off the planet earth and you keep on going that's endlessness okay but you don't know what's going to be awaiting there probably not forests okay so if you go to mars there's no plant growing there okay you can't go out there out of the space station and breathe air you die right away if you do this right now at this point okay? but Elon Musk is going to terraform Mars and make it into an earth but it takes a long time it takes at least a hundred years before someone can go outside and breathe the air you know, and not stay out there for very long because the oxygen levels will still be very low in the beginning because they're gonna have to start with mosses and 
with small trees and small brushes. And all of this has to start growing very gradually, gradually increasing the oxygen level in, in the atmosphere, creating rain, creating storms, creating water, creating oceans and all of this. It takes a long time. People take all of this for granted. You know, the dinosaurs, they appreciated all of this much more. And, um, yeah, I, I don't think the dinosaurs, they, they, didn't, they didn't make it as far as to make technology and cars and, and stupid technology and destructive technology. You know, they just, they were very destructive, some of them, but it was keeping itself in a balance until the meteors came and they destroyed the large animals, so the large dinosaurs, all of those, the ones that could not find refuge in, in some niches and crannies and, and little caves. The big ones, they were, they were bombarded literally by meteors, meteor showers. And um, so, which is a very strange occurrence but the dinosaurs, they did not. They weren't damaging planet Earth. Okay, what's happening right now is it's a, another mass extinction rising up. Okay, we see it every day. Okay, the facts are out there, you know, right in front of our eyes. Huh? Animal species that are dying out every day in massive amounts. Many, many, I heard like 400 species dying out every day. Of different types of animals, insects usually. Some uh, we need all of those. We need every one of them for balance. If species dies out, th that can cause an enormous ripple effect, and it can cause vast, serious suffering uh, down the line. People don't understand any of this. You know, if the bees become extinct, this is right now. They're right now at at very great risk. It's very, it's a very serious situation, and people were, you know, the corporate agenda always tries to cover things up because they're making money. They don't want to straighten their production line out you know, because they're making money. They cannot think past the money. They cannot think past it, even if it goes at their own throats. People are in those corporations, human beings, living beings, but no, money, <laughs> money seems to be some sort of like a, like an iron wall that really blocks out the view to the broader picture. So it is very, very, very extremely dangerous. If the bees become extinct, there will be no more pollinators. So the made, those are major pollinators for our food for our plant food that everyone depends on. And what causes it? People, they come to all kinds of different you know, conclusions, also wannabe, so wannabe conclusions, because one blames the other, you know. Oh, it's not our fault. We don't want to straighten up our production line. No, it is the real big elephant in the room, Monsanto, okay? Pesticide production, pesticide use on a vast scale is causing the bees to gradually become extinct and that's going to be a real, real major problem. Food prices will go way up, way up, so, so high up. It will become like Germany was during the inflation where you have to buy a loaf of bread with a Persian rug. It had, they have been there, and my mother is, has told us about all of this. My mother said that during the inflation, every single person looked like those Jewish people in the concentration camps. This is a fact. Every one, of, I mean, the, the people in the concentration camps, they had it much worse, of course. That was absolutely an atrocity what happened there. Absolute atrocity. It should never happen again, but it has happened again. It has happened even worse 
in other countries. It was worse in Japan, and it is even worse in North Korea, what's happening there. No one knows about this because people like to blame. They pick one scapegoat and they blame it. You know, it's all horrible, all of it. It's all horrible. But one is worse than the other. And the absolute worst of all Holocausts, and I've said it today, and I've said it before, and I will say it many times again in the future, is factory farming. It's how the animals are being handled in agriculture. That is the worst Holocaust there is. And we need to abolish all of this. That has to be abolished. Okay, so that's what I needed to say today. Take care. Peace out.